Duskmorn, House of Horrors. Let's get started. Here's Duskmorn. Oh, they gave me a poem. One, two, the Razorkin are coming for you. Three, four, don't open that door. Five, six, beware the gremlin's tricks. Seven, eight, your fears will dominate. Nine, ten, looks like you're lost again. Thanks for the three free packs. What a weird little poem you gave me. It's not even the cool lands. They're gonna make me buy the cool lands in the store, huh? Yeah. I might do it. These lands do look really cool. It's tempting. Very, very tempting. Don't open that door. I, I I don't like the messages other than boo, but it's got the exclamation mark, so it doesn't have the like boo. But you know, hmm. yeah, these stickers are just whatever. The bestie though, the beastie bestie. That is pretty cool. Alright, well. That thing can stop eating in my ear. That would be cool. Uh, I got nine packs now. Three from Arena. Six from a pre-release I did in real life with my code. I think I'm going to wait to open those until after we've done some drafts and things. Just kind of add to the, the pack there. Um, yeah. I think we start with the sealed, and then we just move right into uh, the premier drafts. So, sealed, and we'll click the button. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to purchase. Come on, some good cards. I don't even know what's good in this set. I didn't look at it enough. So there's probably going to be a lot of reading involved here. Just a heads up. Non-toy creatures attack a player. Create a toy. Base power and toughness equal number of toys you control. This seems really good. <laughs> seems very good. Get in your end step, draw a card. If you control a demon, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Otherwise, I lose life. Interesting. You may mill two. Put them onto the battlefield. Tapped. It's a land. Yeah, there's this, this green, white band of things up here possibly a splash of blue for a zamone maybe even enduring curiosity i don't know i'll have to see what the mana fixing looks like can't be blocked choose one that hasn't been chosen so it starts as a 1-1, one, one, becomes a 3-3, three, three, draws a card, and then it becomes a copy of a creature you control with 1-1 one, one counters on it. And can be blocked now, huh? <clears throat> so if that first time I hit them with this guy, like say I play it on turn 2, I attack in turn three. I decide to pick the bottom chapter here. The silent hall creeper becomes a copy of another target creature you control. If I don't control another target creature, does he just stay out on the battlefield as a 
Like, does that, that bottom ability doesn't resolve, right? And I've already chosen it, so I don't have to pick it again. I could just have a 3-3 unblockable. Yeah, I would imagine so too. I, I could be wrong on that one, but I think that's how that works. The mana of any color is going to be really good for helping us fix here, so... Beginning with second main phase, if he is tapped, reveal the top X cards of your library where X is his power. Any number of creatures and or vehicles. Different powers and run them into my hand. Ah. Uh, the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. Yeah, I don't know. Even with you uh, hitting the ghosts with your plasma cannon here, you know being a ghostbuster i don't think i want to play you you're just gonna be a four four but any number of creatures and or vehicle cards with different powers <laughs> yeah i don't know maybe that might be able to get a couple more cards interesting Whenever an enchantment you control enters, and whenever I unlock a room, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. That seems pretty legit. Where you 1 1 counters possess goat, and it becomes a black demon in addition to its other colors and types. Activate only once. Huh. Why do I like that so much? That, that seems really good. Hey, look, it's Casper. It's a lifelink. Oh, removal. All right. That's, that's pretty good. Tap type creature, stun it. When you unlock this door, put a wall encounter on each of the two target creatures. That's a lot of one plus one counter synergy. And white already for me. That's that's pretty decent, I feel. Whenever you attack creatures you control, get one plus one until the turn. I don't even have to attack with the Lionheart Glimmer. It's just whenever I attack. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Dollmaker Shop is going to be in this if we're playing any form of white for sure. Yeah. More removal on white. Holy crap. White is really strong already. Whenever you manifest dread, put a card you put into your graveyard this way into your hand. Ooh, manifest dread now draws a card instead of throwing it in the graveyard. This thing is going to be really, really good if you're in the manifest stuff. Wow. Alright, we're going to Silent Hall Creeper in. That just seems like a really good card to be playing. Curiosity is amazing. The Megalodons are great for the uh, Island Cycling. Can't attack as though it didn't have Defender. Maybe. The 3-3 three, three that unlocks Defender and can attack is... Sometimes pretty good just because it's under costed most of the time, but not being able to attack all the time could be a big downside. Get something unblockable, removal, removal. Yeah, 
Interesting. Yeah, I'd play it. Oh, and I got two of them. I'm gonna unlock this door, manifest dread, put a 1 1 counter on that creature. Yeah, that would be played. Draw two, make a glimmer. Man, I would just play all the blue at that point, huh? All that blue synergizes really well together. Oh, vengeance, yeah. It's removal. Recursion. 2 2 lifelink. More card types in your graveyard. Each opponent may sacrifice an online permanent or discard a card. Then Osseus Stick Twister deals damage equal to its power to each opponent who didn't sacrifice a permanent or discard a card this way. Beginning of your end step. So it doesn't even have to attack. It just needs to be out on the battlefield and you need Delirium. And then they either have to sacrifice or he deals damage equal to his power. And because he has a lifelink, you still gain the life. Interesting. And that, that's going to kill a lot of people. This guy right here. They're not going to see it coming. The Hall Creeper, I can't do the cheat thing. I, I can't pick another target creature if I don't have another target creature. That's that's lame, but I mean, it makes sense. If I was going to do it the way I wanted to do it, that would just be straight up cheating. Like, having a 3-3 unblockable just turn 4? <laughs> no. I mean, murder is good removal. Resurrected cultists. Graveyard of the Battlefield of Finality. Seems okay. There is if creature died this turn. We get a 4 4 death touch for 4. Otherwise, it's 3 3 death touch for 4. Still not that bad. Choose one or more instead. So there's definitely a delirium thing happening in there. That's pretty cool. I don't know that I got enough of it, though. Leave the graveyard, the cadaver lab. Uh, what is the, the defiled crypt cadaver lab? It's such a good card. Help me in pre-release. Fear the dark. Leopard die, destroy or reanimate. Swamp Cycling, discard a card, yep, yeah, pretty good. We're gonna lock, draw two, lose, all right. So whenever creature control attacks alone, gains death touch, that's pretty good. There's the demon thing. And I, I kinda want to just because I'm a black player, but I don't think we should. Dies, exit the top card, ooh, good pyroclasm, scorching dragon fire. We got the malfunction. Most valuable slayer earns his name for sure. Four four haste for five. Whenever you attack, create a one one gremlin creature token. What? Human Clown Berserker makes gremlins. This seems silly. I'm sad that we're not going to be playing red. Some removal in red. Manifest. Whenever you attack, turn the attacking creature against double strike. That seems like it could be pretty good. And it's just a common, huh? Man. One or two target untapped creatures you control. They each deal damage to power target creature and opponent controls. I don't like that I have to tap to fight, but what are you going to do about it? 
Delirium, can't attack a block unless there are four more card types in your graveyard. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may mill a card. That might be cool if we could actually see what we were milling. It's Death Touch, all right. Manifest Dread is pretty simple, straightforward. Twitching Doll is good mana fixing. Man, break down the door is going to be really good in this format. Just being able to destroy the multitudes of artifacts and enchantments. I don't even think you're going to manifest a dread most of the time with this. You're going to use it as removal. Kill a creature or a room that you're having trouble with. It's a 1-1 one, one every time we flip the Manifest Dread. Basic land card, Delirium, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. And there might be a green-black Delirium deck in this pile, huh? We might be able to put together a blue-white enchantment deck and play a little bit and then go do the green-black and test that out too. White, <laughs> blue, white. <laughs> yeah, there's the green, black. There is green, white. I might be able to splash. There's just so many good blue cards. I don't know why I would splash blue at this point. The land entered under your control this turn. You control a prime number of lands. Create Primo. Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, I don't know. Bear trap seems decent, just colorless removal. Hello, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Just looking at the new set, reading a bunch of cards, trying to get our first sealed going. How are you doing? So I think we're going to take out the white, actually, after all of that work. Yeah, Grim Tech is here. He, he's, he's the one talking. I see you, Emily. Is the mic not working? It looks like the mic's working. You should be able to hear me. <laughs> Perfect. Clobbering, the burrower's fine. I think we take the manifest. Um, under the skin, Zamone. And then if I really want to get crazy. We can add the land and add. 
add a couple of white cards in, like the Glimmer. Doll Gallery. too crazy into the white stuff but I do think the doll gallery is going to be worth splashing I probably don't necessarily need the inquisitive glimmer at that point although we do have a decent amount of enchantments at eight I might just play it just because it's a fox glimmer. Oh, you're right. The Discord artists. Um, I will hunt you guys down when I'm ready for art for my stream. Like, I do appreciate the passion and the advertising and things like that, but... The best I'm going to offer you is I'm going to give you a follow back since you followed me here on Twitch. And when I decide I'm ready for art, I will hunt you down. But right now, I do not want to be advertised to. Thank you. Giving us the good old 17 lands. I don't know that we're going to need to go that route completely. Gains death touch. That'll help with some of the little guys getting in. Draw two, hit the enchantments. He's gonna let us draw cards. Hmm. <coughs> I I like it all too much. We're just gonna give it a go at 41. See what the band does. If we don't like it, I'm probably gonna go back in and cut. I don't know. I liked what the blue white was looking like. I want to try out the green white stuff. There's just so many different things we can do. <laughs> uh, all right well i mean we're in a good position here getting all three colors in an opening hand three mana is great all right we're gonna keep that thank you for doing the mod thing we appreciate it uh how about surveil is it a land is not a land. Is it something that I really, really want? Yeah, I think I do. I want that. Having something with a big butt like that seems pretty good. Um... Let's drop the burrower. Um, tap two. 
on target creature, put stun counters. I mean, we're doing all right, but I would like to draw just one more land. That would really set my deck up. All right. In game one, you just curve out and your opponent does not curve out with you. That was that was a really fun game of magic. <laughs> How come I didn't get the smiley face, sad face for that one, huh? Did you have fun? No, my opponent did nothing. <laughs> they played three lands and quit. <laughs> There's two mana and a hall creeper. I unlock surveil two, so we gotta turn one play even. I mean, I don't know that I should, but I'm gonna. So, islands. I'm gonna surveil two. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not even upset that they unfollowed. Let them be salty. Yeah, we want both of those cards. In that order, even. Alright, so we're gonna drop... The Hall Creeper? And then... I guess the Flush Brower, because we don't really have anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, kill it. That's fine. That is so absolutely fine. Hi, opponent. How are you doing? Still get to draw. Yep, you get yours, I get mine, I draw a card, we're all happy. Um t -t 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 I think no. Cancel. I want the shredder down. I'm gonna crew here. I'm play a land, I guess. Unlock. Oh, we would. Death touch, that's fine. Yeah, I'm all two cards. I mean, it's working. This is nuts. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, you didn't get to count. You set up for a counter spell, and I didn't play anything for you to counter. How sad. That's fine. 
I'm not even upset. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. Um, there's a crew one on that. So let's... Manifest Dread you. Get my land back. Play my land. We're gonna play the Dollmaker Shop. Yeah, goodbye! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. The value. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to roll with this. This is doing so much better than I thought it was going to do. And I kind of want to see Primo. Like, that's, that's my goal right now, is to get a Primo onto the battlefield. <laughs> Cheap viewers, huh? Thanks. Nagging Rumor. What a fun name. <laughs> Uh, oh man, you're so fast at it. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna keep this. <laughs> uh, let's go with the watchdog. Flesh brewer. Da -da 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 -da. Nah, you can go to the graveyard. We don't need you. We don't need you. Oh. Well, now. I think with that, we're going to Megalodon, so we have four mana to cast Primeval, or the Paranormal Analyst, and then Manifest Dread. I think that's what I'm going to do. Dude, it is turn three and you still have not put anything to the field? That's bad limited play. Bad limited play. Boo! Every time I manifest dread, it's always removal and mana. Always. All right, you give me the card back. That was dumb. I should have swapped those two. Oh well. Oh, that's such a good card. It's a shame you could only do it for one. Surveil. That's fine. Manifest Dread, put a 1 1 counter. Unlock this draw 3, then discard a card. That's fine. Again with the Meat Locker. I don't <sighs> manifest dread is an interesting mechanic I don't know that I would say it's a bad mechanic um let's do this first Um, 
put you down, get the land to my hand. And we can play... Oh, I need to be able to pay a green for it. That's funny. Turn a permanent from my graveyard to my hand. What we're just gonna get the Megalodon. Oh no, we're gonna get Oh, this is Manifest Dread. Woo! Okay. Turn a permanent to my hand as the Megalodon, and then we manifest the doll shop. Alright, that's... What is this deck I have thrown together? This is dumb. I need I need something here some kind of like unblockable something It's feeling a little bit like it's gonna be that way for me. As long as I can see the synergies and the carbs that I'm pulling, I'm gonna be throwing decent decks together. We'll see how fast the meta shifts around. This is the best deck, but I got a good feeling about it. All right, we're just gonna do this now. Cast that Megalodon! And then you're the only attacker, my guy. And then the first thing he does is put counters on himself, and now he's lethal next turn. If he doesn't kill, he's going to be copy and become a copy of the Megalodon, and I'm going to have a 7-9 Megalodon out on the battlefield. Well, you gain some life. You gain some life. Creatures you control have base power and toughness, each equal to the number of creatures you control. So if I unlock that, this thing is just an 8-8 unblockable this turn, right? Like, fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy crap, this sealed set. I don't want to play magic anymore. You win. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Twitching doll, huh? Nuts. This has just been nuts. This is fun. Um, here, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Don't you do it! You leave my tutu alone. Any delirium, and you can mill. You've got one. I'll put another creature in there. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I'm going to tap you. And you? Alright, we're going to start hitting some of these other put-together decks that are going to be matching the speed of mine. Um, Megalodon, you're so close. Um, yeah, 2-2 two, two Death Touch seems okay right now. Mill those cards. Tap enchanted creature, doesn't untap, shuffle enchanted creatures into its owner's library, manifest dread, activate it as a sorcery. No, I would rather no no. I can only do as it a sorcery, that's fine. And we'll do that. We will do that. Keeps me off Megalodon for just a little bit longer. No. Damn it. Can't attack or block. <laughs> Can't be countered. Trample haste. Return it from the graveyard of the finality counter. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's really good. Ah, there's Megalodon mana. Hey, he made it! Yeah, like I said, the green-black delirium stuff seems pretty good. I'm wondering what the blue splash is for. Uh, no. We in a rough spot now.
Oh, and it's going to be Death Touch Trample. Why would you give it to that guy? That was dumb. I think we're losing this one. <laughs> we, we had a really good just straight beat everybody down, curve out like a friggin' god game, and now we're just struggling. Can you mill the right card type? You mill, my guy. You mill. You want delirium this turn. If you can delirium this turn, you can haste this out and win. Yeah, there you go, Mill. No delirium, that sucks. Uh, well, that sucks too. Just <laughs> draw a card, do nothing. Terramorphic. That doesn't get you delirium. You already had a land. Oh, well, let's uh, meet locker. That. <laughs> if you hit delirium, you win. Oh, you went for the card draw. What are you missing in here? Creature, land, enchantment. No instant, no sorcery, no artifacts. There it is. Though I do think we are dead. No, I'm not going to let you kill me with your giant worm. <laughs> kill me with something else. Likely ban evader, huh? I mean, we, we can fix that. Suspicious user ban invasion. <laughs> uh, the precipitous flasher it just gave me a best views on, but when I'm looking at their their information, it says they're a likely ban evader. They've been restricted. Oh, uh, there's my ban button. There we go. Figure out how all this stuff works on my end. All right. <laughs> First loss after three wins. Can't be too upset. It was bound to happen. Other people get to put together really good decks, too. <laughs> Man, it's almost like the perfect curve. Ooh, tap land. I think we play the glimmer. Wow, no hesitation, none. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> you silly.
Uh oh, the dog's getting in trouble. Have delirium, no need to mill. Is that five man all together that I've got? We're one short on the megalodon. We're one short on the paranormal. We're gonna go meat locker. We're gonna hit the 5-5, five five, and I'm gonna cast the detective. Get a little bit of a board stake going. I don't want to get in for some cheap damage just yet. We're looking for one more land. One more land, and we just start rolling. What the dog do? How can you be so mean? <laughs> What's that? Okay, there's my land. Um, honestly, because you're not attacking again, we're just going to go for it. We're going to turn you face up and we're going to attack with nothing, actually. That was bad. Because the Prowler doesn't give itself unblockable. I gotta remember that. Again, bestie. Uh, decline. Man, I need one more mana. Just one. Actually, I don't need one. Yeah, I do. I need a white. Because I want to be able to do the twitching doll thing. 
This is an instant. You are not. Um, yeah, all right, we'll just unlock. Um, the patchwork, I think I want going. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. And now when we crack the twitching doll, we get six creatures to add to everything. Like he needs to kill the twitching doll this turn, or I'm pretty sure it's it's game over. No, it'll be 13 because we'll get another toy when we attack. Oh, and then I get Zamone for Primo. Yeah, this card right here is... <laughs> this card is insane. Just creatures you control have base power and toughness, each equal to the number of creatures you control. Like, excuse me? <laughs> You're just gonna turn all of my creatures into... Well, it's not a beast of burden, because that's all creatures on the battlefield, but basically a beast of burden for my side of the board? Like, this is insane. Especially when I get a parrot with this on turn two. Like, very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, this Bant deck has been silly fun to play. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all the colors of the deck. Oh, it's gonna be one of those games. It's gonna be one of those games. Come on, no more mana. <laughs> That's literally enough to play everything in the deck. If there are six or more card types, you could double the number of counter. What? What? Enters or attacks. Holy crap. <laughs>
What do you say, friend? You want to trade? <laughs> Beast of Burden is a good name drop. <laughs> Meglanoth into the graveyard, huh? Would you like to surveil again? I'll kill that dog. I'm gonna get that dog. How many Megalonoths did you get? And I hope you don't have a way to get them back. Zamone. There's no delirium yet. We don't have to worry about the fly trap just yet. That enters manifest dread, then attach the tools. Has two plus two. Death Touch and Life Link, huh? Interesting. Uh, land, enter the battlefield under your control this turn, and you have a prime number of lands. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to hit a land off the ledger sh or the head shredder here this turn. So let's crew up with Zamone. We're gonna swing with both. The Prowler will make the 5-5 five, five unblockable. We'll take the action. No! It's alright, it comes back. It comes back. Um... There's not a whole lot I can do there. You're just gaining the life off of that. That's fine. I'm gonna manifest dread. <sighs> oh, that's the planes I needed for the doll maker. What? Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, that's so good, but now we lose Primo because we have eight. God damn it! <laughs> I just wanted Primo. Motherfucker.
and sacrifice Zamon to re-equip your equipment. Oh no, they got Primo. <laughs> I think we have lost this game. Unfortunately. Milling my land and missing out on my Primo trigger for them to do the thing that I wanted to do. And that kind of sucks. Now that kind of sucks. <laughs> we'll take the L and move on. Love to see that right there. This is pretty cool too. I will say this is some of the most fun I've had not playing black in a long time. <laughs> No! How dare you? Uh, two counters. And then he's gonna copy the twitching doll. Oh, never mind, he's just gonna die. Um, man, I wanna play the Twitching Doll to get mana out, but I kinda just wanna return. You would, you would, just give me two lands, that's fine. I lose because I can't draw another land we're gonna be a little sad whenever he's dealt damage he deals that much to any other target and we have to do the thing You're gonna hit that Hall Creeper again? You know you want to. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right, you got the nuts, cool. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I lost when I manifested Dread and it was two lands. If I wouldn't have done that, we would have been fine. Yeah, there's definitely a Grixis Runes deck somewhere in this set. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The flying thing that unlocks doors for free. Come on, what else you got? I'm not scared, you're scared.
Alright, I'm a little scared. There's no need to mill. We draw. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, we just have to pass. There you go, you have to do it as a sorcery. I know. I see your rooms. I'm not scared. You are. You want to draw a different card, or do you want to redraw your Razorkin Needle Butt? Yeah, that's what I thought. I want something else. You can't play it, now it's your end step. Thank you, my turn. Another land anyway. Get in there. Do it before Needlehead comes back. Yeah. Boom. Unlock that big old door. Hit me for one more. Man. The is it ping bullshit. Yeah, ping. Draw a card. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We are dead. We have lost this game. Dang. Okay, do I make three two twos this turn to guarantee the porcelain gallery next turn, or do I wait? No, I want to do this now. I want the three two twos with reach.
draw. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're not ready. Oh, if they can counterspell this, I'm fucked. That's... Yep. Alright, well, that sucks. So I needed to wait. I would have had the two mana. We would have been able to resolve it and activate it. Ugh. That was it. We needed that. That sucks. That sucks. Well, we're up to 13 packs, though. White or black spells. Yeah, I I was back and forth on it, but I was like, man, if I have six creatures out and I turn them all into six sixes, like you go ahead and block the two or three that you think you can, and you're still taking a bunch of damage. Like I was I was gonna resolve lethal and swing. That was the out that I saw. I didn't even think about a counter spell. No, it didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> All right, let's see what the drafting looks like. And the drafting's got to be insane if that's what sealed pools are doing. No, I should have expected the counter spell. I was playing blue and they had open mana. There's not very many in limited, but they do exist. Don't want the land, that's for sure. You know, instead, phase is tapped. Return target creature, mana value three or less from graveyard to your hand. That could be pretty fun. Sacrifice an enchantment creature, draw two cards. When you sacrifice a spring work, manifest dread. Gain control. That'd be fun if we have some sack stuff. Vanish. Turn inside out's a good combat trick. Manifest Dread, whenever you turn her face up, put a 1-1 counter on it. Oh, man. I think I want the Manifest Dread payoff for pack one, pick one. The other thing I'm looking at is this Savior of the Small. Nothing else really seems that worth it. Like it's a land. Whenever you attack creatures and cold, get one plus one. That's pretty pimp. Oh, the stick twister. Beginning your first main phase, get double red. When you unlock this door, great. An XX flyer where X is the number of unlocked rooms you control. Huh. Megalodon's a good pickup. Glamour Burst is pretty decent. I was liking the Watchdog. That was really good. 4-2 that when it dies, I gain life. I just think this thing is too good, especially if I'm already manifesting Dread. Additional cost, sacrifice, creature, and enchantment. 6-5 flying trample. When it enters, each opponent sacrifices a non-token enchantment, then sacrifices a non-token creature. Damn. Terramorphic would be a good pickup here. Make sure we're in the three colors that we want to be in. Trial of Agony deals five. Oof. Gross. It's tapped 
should put a flying counter on it. It's either the land or the demon, honestly. I think I'm going to take the land early. That'll help with any delirium triggers that I'll be looking for, too. No, the beasties probably our pickup here. Just because it's a one drop, it goes the delirium, it does the milling. Manifest Dread Menace. It's not bad. 2-2 two, two Menace for 3, and then I can move the Menace around. Yeah, we've been seeing some really good red cards, though. Seen some really good red cards. Nah, I want the one drop. Sacrifice another creature or enchantment, gains indestructible, tap it. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life, huh? Can't be blocked to draw a card? Okay. Man, do I want that or do I want the 2 1 flyer? I think I want the 2 1 flyer here, actually. This thing seems okay, but I don't have a whole lot to sacrifice to it, and we're not really set in black. We're still looking main Simic here. So I do think we're going to take the flyer. Um, enters, counter target spell, it's controller manifest dread. That seems really good. There's a second stick twister. Oh man. There are four more card types in your graveyard. Look at the top card. If it's a land, put it battlefield. If you don't, put it into your hand. All of these are good for what we're trying to do. I think we want to double up on the stick twister though if we're gonna go for it. Like having two of these guys is gonna be silly. Silly, I say. Brant Snapper might make it just because it says forest cycling. We want the forest cycling guy here. Baseball bat attached. Gets one plus one. Whenever it attacks, tap up to one target creature. That, I bet, is going to be a key piece in the green-white survival because you can tap your creatures so they don't have to attack and you can get your survival triggers. Uh, search the library for basic, reveal it. I guess it comes a 3-3. Three, three. Right, my black cards are drying up quick. Ah, Vanish. Gotta take the removal that's in my colors. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Megalodon here. I guess the long neck. I don't think I'm gonna play it though. Yeah, same thing here. We're not gonna play any of those. Not playing you. This one might make it. Ah, 
has all activated of creatures you control that don't have the same name as this creature. I don't have a whole lot of activated abilities, but I think this card's going to be really good for Commander and for some of uh, the uh, constructed formats. For sure. Um, we're getting your second main phase. If it's tapped, reveal cards top of your library until you reveal a land. Put that into your hand. The rest on the bottom. Ugh. I'm looking at this. Don't make a sound. Here is going to be our our pick out of this. We have not picked up a rare yet. <laughs> None whatsoever. Enchantment enters whenever you fully unlock a room, target player mills two cards. <laughs> and just another mill crab, huh? Great. That's that's what we needed. Clobbering's removal. Unable to scream is also removal. Man. Murder is also removal, but it's double black, and we're black splashing right now. I think I'm going to go with the clobbering. Over this one, just because this one's a little bit easy to remove with all the enchantment removal in this set. Clobbering seems a little more... Permanent. I really want to enter the Enigma here, but I kind of want to try and pick up my mana fixing to be able to hit my Black Splash. So we're going to grab this since it's in blue and black. Hey, Zamone. Girly. Nobody else wants to play with you. I will. That's not going to be a good pickup here. We don't need those colors. Surveil and Manifest might get us there. It's definitely better than this. Ah. Uh, it's a 3 4 reach. How am I doing on bodies? I've only got seven creatures. Man, this last pack's gonna have to be pretty creature heavy for me, huh? We're just gonna pick up a two drop. Really like this Enter the Enigma, and they're going around, but there's not really been a good time for me to pick them up. That costs a little bit at four, but coming with a body is going to be great. And this one is another fight spell. But this one fights from the hand even? Ah, uh, we should have. We would have gotten another machete. That's fine. We're going to take the mana fixing here. Um, Centipede will help mana fix. I want the Manifest Dread. Ooh, do I want the Swamp Cycler? I might take the Swamp Cycler here just to see. Just to see. Oh, I definitely did not just draft the same deck. I mean, there's some, some repeat cards in here for sure, but I was white in the other one. Take the 
Manifest. The black card out of there, I guess. Lane line of transformation. Creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to the other types. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that are on the battlefield. I don't know what creature type I want to turn everything into outside of maybe toys. Oh my god, we got a third stick twister. I really hope this stick twister pays off as well as it looks like it does. Because getting three of them in a single draft is just bonkers yeah that is gonna help us really good we don't have any rooms really to unlock with the key bearer that's unfortunate yeah we're getting the bookworm here Delirium, destroy target non-land permanent. Just four mana, destroy anything. More mana fixing. <laughs> ah, what's more important here? I'm going to take the mana. I, I hate saying that, but I'm going to take the mana. Rough. Could do the delirium thing on that. I think it's just a black splash, though. I don't know that I want to be going crazy like that. We're going to keep it mostly green-blue. I think I just want to splash for the stick twisters. Hexproof land lets me pick mana color. That's mana fixing right there. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm going to take the rare land here. <laughs> or we're going to mana fix all of that. We don't want that. We want... Either the piranha fly or the break down the door. Ah. Oh. Where are we at on creatures? We're up to 13 creatures. We're at about the eight interaction. Why would you do that? I do not want that red card. Oh, another bookworm for us. Heck yes, that's an easy pick up here. What does the Swamp Cycler do for this deck? It finds a swamp on turn two. <laughs> That's what it does for this deck. I'm not reanimating it. I'm not casting it. It is literally a card that says for two, discard and go get a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> death touch and indestructible until on the turn that might blow somebody out Do -do -do -do. glimmer one plus one we don't need any of this fine we'll take the clown We'll take the land. We'll take the teddy bear. <laughs> uh, and another death touch. All right. I don't think we're going to be playing all of this, but. I got good feelings about this. So fixes black, fixes black, fixes black, fixes black. Means we only need one swamp in the deck. We only need one swamp 
to cast all of the stick twisters. There are four more card types in your graveyard. Each opponent may sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Then it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent who didn't sacrifice or discard. And it's lifelink. So it, it dealing the damage means I'm gaining the life on top of that. That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five black sources for three cards means I don't need that. We don't have a way to pull these guys back out of the graveyard if we cycle them early, but that's okay. Surveil is good, surveil is good, manifest dread is good. Mill three, return a creature or a land from a graveyard to hand. I don't have the extra copies. I don't know if just one of these is good. Dick Twister, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the old Dick Twist. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think we get rid of strength. We don't need that. I don't think we're going to play the Say Its Name. The Monstrous Emergence is going to be good. Manifest Dread is just technically a body. Probably don't need both of those horde vigors. One is fine. The rest of this is just trying to buy time. Where are we at land count wise? Land 17, that's fine. Man, what to cut? Got 14 creatures, but we've got enough manifest dread stuff that we turn things that aren't creatures into creatures. I just like manifest dread, the, the, the card name, like. Hmm. I guess the issue I'm gonna have is I don't really have a way to get things back once they're in the graveyard. So we probably don't want the machete. Dude, these lands looked so good. I just set them as my favorite a long time ago. Honestly, a part of me wants to get the new lands from this set and replace these. The new lands look pretty good. We're gonna have lands in the graveyard. Creatures are gonna hit. I've got instants. There's a sorcery. I've got a couple of artifacts. We've got an enchantment or two. Like, delirium should be doable. Do we just run it the 41? 
Should I cut another card? Uh, I'm going to just run it at 41 and see what happens. Too much testing today. Well, we definitely got our black splash and don't have to worry about that now. Which means I got to play Valgavas Slayer on green. Enters tapped as it enters choose a color. I think we just start off. With the surveil. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We're just going to throw you into the graveyard now. We don't need to look for any colors. Didn't want to do it now, but it's got lifelink. It's going to slow him down. damage to the power to target creature. I think I'm actually going to Valgavoss for green here. I'm just going to say no attacks. Oh, Megalodon. Choose bloggers one. Oh, why couldn't I do that? Oh, my green mana was tapped, right? Mother. was bad. Did not mean to lose the stick twister. No. Target you. Target... Think about it too, too hard. 
And that gains lifelink. Ah, so I did need to do both. Uh, we just passed then. You're not gaining no life off of that. I'm not scared, you're scared. Well, that's not the good. Uh, let's do that one. You want to trade? I trade you. You're dumb. <laughs> you dumb. Bring them back. Do it. All oh, right. That went to my graveyard, not my freaking god damn it. I got so used to me manifesting dread to my hand. <laughs> Why would you swamp cycle him? You can play him. Why would you do that? You could play it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you play it? Are you gonna reanimate it or something? No more lands, deck. Not unless you're gonna give me Primo. Ugh, I made a mistake. I should not have put this guy in the graveyard. He should have stayed out. Man, that's so good. Uh, 
I don't think that was the play, Hassel. He would have uh, attacked in with a menace creature, and I would have double blocked first. Oh, and then he wouldn't have had nothing to sacrifice. That's fine. It doesn't give you a boost. You need a boost to outrace me. I am winning this. Right? I need two more attacks. You need two more attacks. I get to attack first, so I win. You got removal. You need a removal or a blocker. Excellent. I did not realize that was an instant speed recursion. That is even better than I thought. Instant speed. Awesome. Oh, that's game. Yeah, especially drawing more lands. Come on. What a shitty way to lose a game. Is draw five lands in a row as your last ditch effort. I hate that. That was such a good back and forth until the end. to go to the graveyard. That's fine. It's job and I want delirium, so you know, we'll see who gets there. Whatever. <laughs> A three three Valgava Slayer. Fear it. Or exile it, that's cool too. That's not uh, the one I'm worried about. Um, so we'll go Stick Twister. Creature land. We need to get some other things in there. to the graveyard. That's not going to help. That's instant. That's instant. We're still going to be one short. Start thou router then.
Well, discard. And then we do double stick trigger. Sacrifice or discard, or I gain life. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Boom, boom. Look at that life swing. Minus four, plus four. Yeah, yeah, look at those very carefully. <laughs> That's fine. I don't even care at this point. Stick twisters. These things are so good. no reason to attack we're gonna control you out of this uh, take action and discard take action discard Let's just you clobber this thing out of the way. Kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> Dick Twister for the win. There's probably a better build for it than what I've done, but it's going to work day one. <laughs> Manifest Dread into Dick Twisters. <laughs> I mean, it's a good start. Keep that. Uh, 
Rusty. Don't worry about it. Here and then dies manifest dread, huh? Okay. Uh-huh. I'll give you the manifest. I, I have... Oh, right, I can't block. I do have a problem with that. <laughs> yes! Primo! Decent card, decent card. I'll let you manifest, that's fine. We just have lands in the graveyard at this point. <laughs> you keep it going, I guess, huh? That's fine. You kill Zamone. She's already done her job. There's going to be you down a bunch of 3-3s, three huh? Do it. Do it. Yeah, swing for four. I'm going to crack back for seven. What are you thinking? Overrides Primo! Uh, the one I want to keep is the 5-5. Five five. Oh, Primo just keeps growing. That's so good. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Worry about the dick twister. Great. <laughs> No, they were being greedy. They were like, oh, I'm going to attack him with my 2-2 two -two menace and my 2-2, two -two, and you won't block. I get 4 damage. You do get 4 damage, but then you have no blockers. Uh, they quit. They they tried to make my 0-0 zero -zero with 5-1-1 counters on it into a 0-2 with no abilities, and it ended up being a 5-7 with no abilities. So they were like, oh, I fucked up, and they quit. Interesting, interesting. Land cycle? Surveil and draw. You're going to be a little sad that you did that. So we're holding up a counter spell, we're holding up a flash enchantment for a 2 2, and I'm also holding up the ability to cycle. Whenever one or another creature you control dies. Yeah, no. Well, don't make a sound. Can you pay two? Get that out of here. Alright. This kind of sucks. Guess we'll just get a two on flyer out. Well, he had killed the Zamone and brought it back on his side. He was going to get... Oh, what's it called? I don't think it would have mattered too much in that game that he had going, but... You gotta try something, I guess. I mean, can I get another land deck? Is that too much to ask for? Death touch and lifelink, yes, yes. Yeah, he yeah, there's a spell that kills a creature and brings it back on your side. And he had just played a fifth land, so he was going to get a Primo trigger. But I had something, I had the Vanish from Sight and was just going to get rid of the token, so it wasn't really going to matter that much to me. But, just how it is. In our single swamp. No attacks. This thing is just going to eat us alive with the equipments on it. Uh, 
I don't even mind that it enters tapped. Like, it feels pretty good. Jesus. So I'll stop the damage, I guess. Um, well, we can manifest. Manifest? Is that what we're gonna do? That 5 5 flyer sucks. I can get rid of it for a turn. <laughs> Probably should have waited until they attacked. his manifest card I see I see I mean that's not gonna help me any Let's go, Stick Twister! Yeah, you've gained enough life, it won't matter. I, I got a really bad feeling about this one. I think we're gonna lose this one. The stick twister, right? I'm gonna flip him face up. Gain some life. You can do the thing, yep. Yeah. That's fine. So we can do both, all right.
Ooh, that sucks. Come on. That's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two lands to enter. That's not happening. Got some good control stuff happening for sure. And then you're gonna sacrifice it. Go on, sacrifice it. Sacrifice it. You want to play your demon. You definitely want to play your demon this turn. Nope, you wanted to play the demon this turn. Damn it. I think we die. <laughs> yep, and just equip and fly in. There's there's nothing I could do. Dang. Alright, well at least the sealed part was fun. Drafting so far has been a little bit of a back and forth. Mm. So the lands I need are going to enter tapped first. That that hurts. Some blue. Okay, and bookworm. Take action. Um, let's get rid of you. Of course, I got rid of you. I could dagger Ma and play the island. And then I could have surveilled too.
dagger maw. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. What do we got? We got a creature, an instant, and an enchantment. Alright, Delirium's online. Attacks and turn. This should just be draw a card. Draw a card. You sack and take damage. Oh, this is dirty. <laughs> is that the old dick twister I see? It sure is. And it's activated. And it's gonna slowly twist a dick until it's dead. <laughs> Twister. Uh, fuck. <sighs> Too bad you don't have delirium like I have delirium. Action. Discard that. And take action. We'll discard that. Just filter all my lands into that graveyard. You unlock this door, manifest dread. Oh no! going to okay okay An island play the island Another dick twister. That's another dick twister. <laughs> I mean, if my dick got twisted that much, I'd die. <laughs> I don't know. I might do something else before I died. <laughs> They're not ready for my next turn. Swing for your 10 double strike, my guy. Do it. 
I have a little glimmer. Oh, I can't play them both. Dang it. They deal damage equal to the power, so it's not even a fair fight. So we're going to clobber like that. Three dick twisters, I definitely died. Yeah. Like I said, I can't believe I got three of them. can't discard so you gotta sacrifice if you're not sacrificing you are dying I'm up to 32 life <laughs> no damn that was pretty cool This set's kind of fun. twist they never stood a chance all right so this is gonna be a slow start and that we're gonna go black play the island forest cycle zamone on turn three make a three three oh, hopefully we can keep going from there but i don't like that i'm not doing anything really until turn three Really cool pet. Oh, what did I say was gonna do? This is gonna be black. Peewee, huh? Marvin, the mimic, was not expecting that. Yeah, no, I want Primo next turn, so we're gonna go get my green mana. What you got going on here? Oh, ninjutsu. We are so screwed. I've trained for situations. Did I scare you? So screwed. I thrive in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Simone. Crazy. What a good turn three play. 
Oh, and then Marvin has all of his... Holy shit, that's so good! Never underestimate <laughs> Holy fuck. Damn, I'm in trouble. Sucks, we gotta get rid of a dick twister. And I don't know how else this is gonna manage for us. This is rough. Just try to keep up. It's hex proof. I need a death touch creature. Sorry, Zamone. Man. I'm just going to decline, actually. We want that land. I've trained with the best. Uh, that's game. Fuck. All right, well, <laughs> magical Christmas I copy Kaito was was amazing for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that that could happen for you. A three and three. About a, what I expected for the first one, messing around like that. What are we up to on the packs? Up to 15 packs. Not bad, not bad. I think we're going to take a quick uh, break for drinks and bathroom and whatnot since we've done a sealed and a draft. And then when we come back, we could decide if we want to do another sealed or another draft. I'm, I'm down for either one. They were both pretty fun today. So, quick break, and we will be right back.
Why did it take? That was... Okay, so... Oh, it's because I had all instead of just the dust corn. Got it. Got it. Alright, sorry. Didn't mean to be gone so long. We're back at it. And honestly, I just... I want to draft again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do another draft. I can't even imagine really what Constructed's like right now, except for I know that the Mono Red Fling deck got the crazy double your stuff ley line, so. Destroy all creatures power three or greater. Other permanents you control have hexproof. Interesting. Board wipe. Take the land. I don't think we really want to. Go to the top. Graveyard gain three life. I think. Things I'll top two. You may play them. Let's play some red. We haven't done anything red yet. And this is a good red card. This is also a good red card. We can take either one of these as pack one, pick one, but I think I'm going to take the uncommon. Just to have the battle cry and the impulse draw all in one seems really good. The the rares, I don't know how this one's going to do unless you're in some kind of controly room something, and the land is it's just a land. All right, Altanic the Thrice Calds. If we pick this up now, we can really look for the <clears throat> thrice-named cards, try to get those to happen. Even if we mill them, you know, that's not such a big deal. But fear of burning alive. And this thing being picked up into a red? Ugh. Yeah, I think we're going to pick up Fear of Burning Alive here. Exercise is a really good card. We could do a Boros something. We could pick up the red-black enchantment. I think we're just going to stick to the mono red for now. See what stays open, though. Yeah. Whenever a source you control deals non-con damage. Four more card types. Burning Alive deals that amount. It's, it's going to be so good. This is, like, Dick Twister Extreme if you can get Delirium activated and start pinging. Um, delirium. Deal 6 damage. Yeah, I go a card. Get a card. Turn inside out. Seems really good for red. Red had Beastie. Getting the Mountain Cycling in there. Like murder is a good pickup. Sacrifice a room. It deals two damage to each opponent. Draw a card. I bet this thing is pretty good too. If you pick up enough of the red blue rooms, I might pick this up real quick and see. We might do red blue rooms. <laughs> we might do red blue rooms. That seems really good. Sack a, a fully useless room to deal two damage and draw a card. And all I have to do is tap this guy and he's got vigilance. It's, it's insane. Uh, grab the prize for the incremental damage. This card seems really fun if you were wanting to go into like five color because it just it solves everything and then it becomes a seven seven beater but the, the five color deck is a control deck and i honestly wouldn't go into it unless i pulled the five color room chick like in my first pack so we could do the black thing we can also look at some of these blue cards to kind of go with the intruder here I, I think grab the prize is going to be our best bet for this next one. Counter target spell or enchantment. Return one or two target creatures or enchantments you own to your hand so I can bounce my rooms and reuse them. That could be pretty fun. 
red dried up very fast in this pack. Um, Glimmer Bursts and Get Out both seem pretty good, but I think we're going to pick up the Get Out. And we seem to be in a good seat for ourselves because we keep getting cards we want to see. Lock, search for a room that doesn't have the beginning or upkeep, surveil one. I win the game if there are eight or more different names among locked doors I control. We could go for the meme win day one. But if we're going to do this, uh, maybe the enter the enigma. No, I said I want rooms. We're going to get this room. This room's so good. This one could wheel. If that happens, I'm definitely taking it, and we're going to try to make it work. Just have eight unlocked doors, you win the game. I can do that. I mean, this is the only thing that's going for what our deck is trying to build. We can dry up blue and red, try to make sure nobody else wants to be in it, but I don't know that I want him in my deck. Yeah, I don't know that I want you in the deck. What is this? Flying 4-4 four, four for 6. Put target card from a graveyard at the bottom of its own library. Activate as a sorcery. I mean, I might actually play that over the other thing. Uh, Surveyor is good for us. I almost took the rare land there just to have it, but that actually won't, is a playable. So, Exercise made it back around. Really, nobody's going to be playing the white stuff, huh? That's nuts. I control Enchanted Creature. It gets minus three, minus zero, and loses all abilities. Counter target spell manifest dread. Interesting. See, like I said, like a Grixis rooms deck seems doable. Oh no, we can do that. That's fine. Uh, do I want the removal? That's nah, too late. Too late. just don't see this actually ever connecting. Just like the chandelier. Hey, the enigma. Alright, Tale of Tamio. Mill two, share type, draw, repeat. We are not the blue black delirium deck, although Grixis has a little bit of delirium too. Or the red. Turn non lane permanent, manifest dread. Which card is a wild card? This one, the Tamio. Whenever you attack, create a gremlin. Yes. Oh, haunted screen. Um, that was the five color artifact. There's the lecture hall restricted office again, man. Uh, enchantment or unlock doors. That's that's us, actually. Just a little over turn inside out, I think. Uh, I don't know if I want this or if I want this. This seems like it'll be pretty good with all the rooms. This is just good in general, being a 1-1 haste. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're we're gonna do the crab. We're gonna test the crab out. We'll see if we can't pick any a couple more of these guys up. I can't imagine too many people want to be playing them just yet. Oh, this thing is nuts. How is this still in the pack? Nobody's in that blue. I mean, I probably should be taking this for my enchantment stuff, but this thing just manifesting a flying creature and then I can re-equip for flying. That's such a good card. Can't block. When it becomes blocked, I may exile it. You may play that card from exile this turn. Interesting. Interesting. And Scorching Dragonfire is just super good too. Fuck. No, I'm taking the flying thing. We're gonna go the flying thing. I can get Norn now though. I might just pick up a Norn, see how that goes. I don't want the grimoire. Counter spell. They manifest dread. We're getting further and further away from the uh, grab the prize stuff. Manifest. Double strike. That's so much. Whenever an enchantment enters, run a luck fun wood vessel and it dies. Huh. Don't make a sound. that came back around I'm just gonna take it because it's a rare I don't think I want to play it again taking it because it's a rare we're not actually gonna play it uh, you might have to be played because I need bodies hey oh man a dork came back that's awesome yeah, I like getting playable cards for no reason at the end of packs here. Whenever it attacks, manifest dread. Reveal target face down permanent. If it's a creature card, you may turn it face up. That thing is insane. Excuse me? Common damage player unlock a locked door or target room. I don't think I got enough rooms. I might try to splash that. That thing is so good. <laughs> hey, there's the crab. We want the crab. Also want the lands. A couple of crabs. Demon card reveal, put it in your hand, then shuffle. If there are four more types, put it into your hand. Then. Wow. Hey, fear of burning alive, number two. Yes, fear of falling, amazing. Lock the stores, you're the dang little number of cards in your hand, a target creature and opponent controls. If no maximum hand size, draw a card. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is that rare? That's rare. Two or more unlocked rooms. Flying guy. Man, we're gonna have plenty to pick from. I don't think I'm gonna be playing this guy. But uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm still gonna try. I know he's double green, but... 
damn, that is so good. Right, when well, it's just reveal, so you get to show and look at, like, see what your opponent is bluffing, not bluffing. On its screen. Creature's hand. One or more creatures above all common player draw a card. Oh, fuck yes. This also seems playable for what I'm trying to do, but. We're not going to go there just yet. Another mana dork. Yeah, all right, you're out. You're you're out. Another pool for the draw card. Uh, can't be blocked this turn draw card. Or do I do another room? I'm going to do another room. We get the flyer that unlocks rooms. We'll get the land for the mana fixing. I mean, I got cuts to make 32 cards and I don't even have lands added yet. I don't know if we want a Megalodon or the Researcher. I'm gonna grab the researcher, it just costs less. Another researcher, cool. That's that's what we wanna see. Can't be blocked, draw. We want the enchantments. Fear of isolation's flying, flying. Don't need all of those. We got five researchers. Counter target spell, manifest dread, counter spell, they manifest. This makes an enchantment. Okay, it's about enchantments. This thing is just good. I don't think I could ever cut it. Glimmer is an enchantment. It's an enchantment. It's an enchantment. It's an enchantment. It's an enchantment. Is an enchantment. Is an enchantment. Is an enchantment. I don't know how much I'm gonna go for the double red delirium here, because I didn't get a whole lot of non-combat sources. So unfortunately, we're probably not playing Fear of Burning alive. This is starting to look like a mono blue deck to me, <laughs> uh, with a slight splash of red. Um, t -t 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 uh, what is the shorthand code for this? Equals right type equals creature. Oh no! Did it, did it type equals creature? So as far as attacking creatures, we've got a Vigilance, a Flying, a Flying, that are probably not going to attack. Flying is just kind of there. Is Flash. That's not Flying. That is just Flash. Ah, that's going to throw me. Flying. You're not. You're not ever going to do the thing. 
flying. Okay. So blue flyers for sure. We got what? One, two. Three, four rooms? Is that not what I'm seeing? Four rooms for the fling guy here? Yeah, that's that's probably enough. We could probably cut a mountain on 16. Actually, we'll probably go something like that. Since we only have, what, three red cards, I can get down to four, five red sources. Give me 16 lands. We got enough stuff that says draw cards and surveil and anything else to kind of get some of that going. We got double crab for Eerie Mill. Honestly, I might just cut the Enter the Enigma here because there's not really a whole lot that I'm attacking with that I need to make unblockable. It already flies. So this just says draw a card on it. Wow, and I'm just going to be playing a control deck. A bunch of counter spells. <laughs> All right, blue decks. Let's go. This is terrible. I can't believe I got two of my red cards already. get wrecked by children on the corn all right well come on because I was expecting to draw land and actually be able to play I had two lands, mostly blue cards. I wasn't too worried about the red splashes off the start, but not getting any lands is going to kill me. Yeah, alright, cool. And now I can't play... Unlock a door, a turn, a permanent face up, so I can't play these guys. Oh, cool. Alright, you see that you're winning. That is game over. <laughs> Curved out. That's, that's all it takes. You, you don't even have to have a good cards. You just have to curve out sometimes when your opponent doesn't. I mean, all right, so this time I've got a one drop into a two drop with the mana. So like, this is this is great. This probably won't see play, but this, that's fine. Ah. Um, 
No. Uh, oh. This is not good. This is two games in a row or two lands. Is it really because I went to 16? I'll put one back if I have to, Arena. I'll put one back. I mean, you could have done it. Hey, ping me. Uh, we'll do the breaker, I guess. The wind breaker. Boo. Whatever. Okay. Two to turn it up. Choose a creature to take five damage. got to the point of stalling. That's what I needed. Ah, there's Orphan's mother. Ow! Stupid. dead. So we're just going to draw a card. Yeah, you, you win, my guy. I'm, I'm done watching you play. You got it. <laughs> you just should have swung out. No, I didn't have fun. I was mana screwed for the second game in a row, Arena. And we're gonna go slap in an extra land. And we're gonna take out... I don't know, what are we gonna take out? Nothing. We're just going to run it with 41.
I'm gonna get mana flooded now. And this fun looking mono blue deck is gonna do nothing. Look at that. That's more mana that I've seen in the last two games combined in my first turn. <laughs> what did I say? I added one and now I'm going to get mana flooded. It's classic. Classic arena. It's not rigged at all. Don't look too close into it. Let's get both of my counter spells out of the way. I appreciate that. Good old arena. Get to see the survivor stuff. <laughs> Orphans of the wheat. We're done. <laughs> that's that's so good. This card, man, if you get this pack one pick one, you want to be playing the survivor stuff. That's so good. Please stop. God damn, dude, just run it. End of the ground. You got all of the survivor stuff. Nobody wanted to play it but you and your pod, huh? Oh, this is gonna hurt. here I'm no dummy
card. That is not the card we wanted to be drawing. Well. You want to trade for force? I'll trade you. Do it. Yes. Oh, this hurts. That's fine. Uh, I'm not missing this opportunity. Hey! Oh, right, it doesn't have any abilities. <laughs> I was like, what? I did the thing! No, it doesn't have no abilities, Well, That's not how that card works. Uh, I think we're dead. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, my mono blue bullshit was not viable. We just got stomped, and that was a waste of gems. Them the beats. Claim. All right, well, I'm willing to lose again. Well, hello, Zamo. <laughs> hello, Dick Twister. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, honestly, with all of it, though, I kind of want to do this. Gain X life where X is the number of creatures I control with power two or less. And just kind of go the Boros Beats and see if we can make it happen. The best card in the pack, though, is Zimone. <laughs> like, followed by Under the Skin. Like, the, these guys. The blue guy's pretty good, too. But I want to try Boros. We we've, we've already played Zimone. We know she's good. Ooh, sheltered by ghosts. Such a good card. Trapped in the screen. Turn inside out. Clockwork percussionist. These are all things that we like. I think we take the uncommon up here. See what else starts to come around. An exercise. That's amazing. Fear of abduction is pretty fun, but that's uh, not quite where we want to be. Fear of surveillance would be a good pickup. Uh, removal, though, especially since artifact or enchantments are very prevalent. Prevalent? I can't talk. You know what I'm getting at. Uh, destroy target creatures, control or manifest dread. I will take one cost removal in color. Cheerleader is good here. Percussionist is good here. Man. I want it all. Uh, jump scare is going to be good for our deck. Trapped is going to be good for our deck. These guys, not so much. Uh, I think we're going to take the 
pump spell? No, we take the removal. What am I talking about? We take the removal. Has to be blocked if able. I like that. Man. It's, it's coming together pretty quick. Let's, let's hope it stays this way. I passed to Zamone, so the person to my left wants to be in Simic, and I'll keep feeding them. Cycling, huh? Under the skin. Or a door. I mean, the plane cycling will help the deck, maybe? Under the skin is the best card in the pack, though. Feed it to my Simic player. Dies of the top five, creature power two or less, put it in your hand, rest by your order. That's actually probably a little more along where I want to be. Yeah, there's another one. That's gonna be fun. Give me all the living phones. Man, that doll factory would have been, will be really good if we can open that. Yeah, percussionist, thank you very much. Just picking a card to pick a card. I guess we're gonna cut the blue. I don't even know that I'm gonna play that. I'll take the uncommon. Bedhead might cycle for us, but I don't think we're going to. I'm not playing that. Oof. Going into the Black Delirium stuff, that'd be good. This Onslaught card is insane. If you can cast it for a big number. Like, really, the best card in the pack here for me is the land. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I want to pick this up on the chance of a splash. Fear of missing out, draw a discard, delirium. Yeah, fear of missing out is going to be insane in my two drop deck. Pyroclasm is so good. Another sheltered dragon's fire. All right, why can't why can't I pick it all? I want it all. Nice. Yeah, I know we're taking FOMO. Gonna play the FOMO. I 
don't like the fear of abduction, but it is the best card in the pack. And in our colors. Cheerleader. That's that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, and Slayer. Cheerleader or Slayer. Pyroclasm is pretty decent too. Pyroclasm's pretty good too, but I would board wipe myself. I got a feeling Slayer will come back. I'm going to take the cheerleader. There's another cheerleader. I should have taken the Slayer. No, I'm going to take the Slayer. No, we're going to take the Glassworks. Removal. We're taking the Glassworks. That's rough. Attacking creatures. Yes, that's what I'm looking for for this deck. Thank you. Create three gremlins, gain menace, lifelink, and haste. Yes, thank you. I love it when a plan comes together. Just scoop the cards and run. <laughs> Some will fuck the whole draft up. <coughs> Could you imagine, though, instead of, like, confirm pick, there was a button over here that said scoop and run? Hell yeah, that's for me. This thing's really cool, too. This is going to be a really uh, big card for the reanimator deck in standard. This is this is looking like a deck. Ooh, let me take that. <laughs> Just towards the end of the draft, you're the only player left at the table because everybody else scooped and rung. So you just kind of like open up your booster pack and be all sad. <laughs> I mean, friendly teddy bear technically fits the deck but i'm gonna take the uncommon <laughs> i don't like the teddy bear and that both players draw cards even if it is a two two for two it is kind of funny that the toy bear hits as hard as an actual grizzly bear hey most valuable slayer you made it to the party anyway Yes! Rewarded! Pack 3 pick 1, the Jolly Balloon Man. Alright. Glassworks, I'm going to cast you at 3. You're going to be cast as a 2 drop. You get in here, my guy. What do I, I want the Razor Akin Horde Collar to come back. Trapped in the screen would be kind of cool, but yeah, that, I doubt it'll come back. It might. I'm the only one who really wants it. Oh, that's so good. We get to play 99 Red Balloons. Enchantment, we're in front of the room. When it dies, it feels damage equal power to any target. We could pick up another living phone. We could just grab an Orphans of the Wheat. It technically hits with that two drop or the power two or less that I'm looking for. I'm not really going to get the uh, survivor triggers out of it though. But I think that's better than this guy. 
Uh, it doesn't to any target. Nah, you're a two drop. You're 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 one on one. I want to stay low to the ground. Piggy bank, perfect. Ooh, percussionist, percussionist. What? No, we want the piggy bank. We want the piggy bank. We're an aggro deck. A three two for two that leaves the treasure behind. That's that's aggro. <laughs> So is the one one haste that draws, but no, holy crap. Sheltered, uh, fear, surveillance, scorching dragon fire. We're gonna take the dragon fire. Holy crap, this deck. We're not playing you. Probably not playing you. Uh, draw two, discard a card, wasn't a land, deals two damage to each opponent. Uh, there's a cheerleader. I want the cheerleader. Get you out of here. Every creature, plus one for strike until the turn. Gains double strike. Vicious clown. Now we take the uncommon here. Vicious clown is something that I want in my deck though. Uh, Norn, probably actually pretty good in what I'm doing. I don't want to be tapping for six to kill something, but that, that might help out. Yeah, too late. I couldn't make up my mind in time. I'll take another Raggedy Ann. Um, none of this matters. So cutting lands, we're at what, 25 playables? I don't want to say the curve is low enough that we can go 15 lands, but you know, the curve is looking pretty low. Hey, the phone came back around. Percussionist, thank you. It's good to know I'm the only one wanting to play where I'm playing. Man, this deck looks really good. I would be sad if this is another 0 3 just get pooped on. Like, if that's the case, it looks like if you're not manifesting dread, you're not playing this format. Definitely go to 16 right off the start. <coughs> um, yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at that at the end of all of it. Last footage found we don't really want. Dragonfire is going to be fine. Uh, FOMO is crazy good. Cheerleader exercise. Do we need that many living phones? Um got 17 creatures honestly I might just get rid of the phones we're gonna get rid of the living phones horror enchantment and accretion to its other types but it'll already be on the battlefield so I think I'm gonna get rid of jump scare too and I want to run it like this. What are we looking at here? Yeah, average is 2.5 on the curve. So not quite the 
or a little more skewed red than white. So maybe we'll go a little more red than white. I'll give that a go. Come on, Boros, Boros. That's that's not that's not great. I can't play the game. I'm gonna turn it off. Piggy bank. Like it, we caught one red mana and we get mana screwed on red. I did that wrong. I should have attacked, waited for the block, and then killed, and then I would have had a 2 2 flyer. I did that wrong. Damn, good manifest. This is the old, uh, you get two lands, you get mana screwed. Arena. Got a chance. We got a chance. Oof, pyroclasm. Hey, alright, what do we play here? Discard, draw two, if it wasn't a land, grab the prize, deals two damage to each opponent. Uh, we could play our own piggy bank. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, probably not too much longer. You know, I, I was hoping to do at least a sealed and a thing, but... Oh god. It says, uh... Turned into a couple more drafts, especially with that one just being a straight 0-3. I'm, I'm having fun with the set. I might do two more drafts or something. I might do one more depending on how quickly we lose this one. This is looking good.
I mean, now we're just gonna draw all of our lands, so it doesn't matter. Cool. You got me. <clears throat> no, I did not. Thanks for asking. All right, first loss. Not a big deal. We're mana screwed. Let's get mana this game. Let's get mana. <laughs> uh, so tempting. Yay, it's working. Interesting. Just go get your other land. Fine, wait till my turn to do it. Because then I can't do the Norn cast. Man. What's this gonna do? Yep, exile two. Okay. Land, lucky. What else you got? This one, of course. Oh, hell yeah. Blam. Resolve. No, you're so mean. Let's go, aggro. Well, this one's on the turn, lock the door, because I'll talk to Crunchy and blame me. until the end of my next turn. Okay, so I do get them until next turn. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Glass works. You're fucked. <laughs> I mean, Norn might be the bigger threat. Like, it's kind of a crazy good thing it's doing, so... Two damage. Goodbye, Norn. Um, we 
kill the face down thing. And we play a cheerleader. And we attack. We've got a 4 4 first strike. What are you going to do about it? You want to trade? This is just all about wrapped up, huh? Artifact instant creature. So casting this. Does in fact do the thing. Uh, for right. Give it plus one and double strike and kill them both. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I shoot your face for one. I win. We need one of those uh, one drops in our opening hand. I mean, how, how can I say no? Here to draw. Attack. <laughs> All right, it's working. Tap it, doesn't untap it, shuffle it into my library. Okay.
They didn't like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had lethal with the doll, though. Right in my aggro deck. <laughs> Just a casual 30 life in my aggro deck. Because that's what aggro needed, was to be able to gain life. I mean, I'm crazy if I don't. Stop looking at me, Floor. It's weird. I feel like they're gonna counter whatever I play. And I don't really want to lose anything here. Shuffle this guy and target creature with a stun counter on it. Well, there's no stun counter now, my guy. Um, play them until the end of my next turn. Really, I'm just supposed to double spell this turn. That's what I need to do. Double spell. Attack with the cheerleader for three. All right, we're set up for next turn. Let's see. You can kill my doll, that's fine. Meat locker, it, huh? What if I do that and this? Yeah. Riot blue getting vigilant creatures does feel weird. But a lot of the things in this set are a little off. I'll trade up, my guy. My 1-1 one, one for your 3-2 is amazing. I'll play my land for the turn, too. Yes. It is a sorcery, so I'm gonna do it now. We don't need you drawing cards over there, Blue. <coughs> it's three, four, so I can't quite do both in one turn next turn, but... I think I might even start with the yard. I don't even think I need to do the glassworks, honestly. Although blue, I've been burned before. I 
And this is game. Right here. Oh no! Not my doll! Ah, <laughs> uh, it never gets old. Let's go aggro. Oh, amazing. Norn into cheerleader, cheerleader FOMO. Ah, oh. yeah, definitely playing cheerleader first. I don't want the doll to have any uh, bad interactions just yet. Let's go. Okay, we do that. Some scorching here. And then we swing both, and if they decide to block Norn, we just exile and replay. Another cheerleader. I think FOMO as well this turn. Yeah, that was such a good play. I can now copy fear of missing out. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to make a red balloon. Come on. Oh, fun opponent. That is unsettling thanks for that arena hey what a fun reward <laughs> uh you didn't get a cast him here how about have a second copy <laughs> all right i'm curious now on the mastery pass what do we get get some cool looking sleeves that's for sure the ty varkel one's really cool fighting his inner demons Kaito's just chilling with his inner demons. Overlords. The Endurings. A few of the rooms, huh? Oh, well, let's, let's grab Fear of Missing Out since we're playing with it.
we're missing out. You don't want to apply the cool sleeve for him? Come on, what is this? FOMO. Why can't I put my cosmetics on? Wow, Arena. Usually there's a button down here that says apply styles. I know these colors with some of these cards, I definitely feel like there is a Grixis style deck in there somewhere. Some kind of Grixis delirium dick twister deck, you know? <laughs> no style for me, nope. You got the wrong style. Can't apply it mid-draft. Go screw yourself. Redraft it, then play it. Like, okay. Hell yeah. There we go. Ooh. Um, nah, we're gonna go monkey. Because Norn will mess up curve if I have to use Norn's ability on things. So we'll wait. Cheerleader, uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, all right, well. I don't want to do it to the monkey, but you can't have the cheerleader because you swing back. So, monkey with life gain. Let's go. <laughs> Crixus Dick Twister sounds like a good time. It does sound like a deck I would play. Even better. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, what are we putting down then? We are putting down... We're going to put down the playmate. That's what we're going to put down. They want to trade to draw a card here, and I don't want it. What do I want to trade with? I don't want to trade anything, honestly. I might just go Norn. I'm going to activate the Playmate here. That can't be blocked, and we'll swing for two. Yeah, I can't block. I don't care. Your teddy bear's not gonna get blocked oh man we are playing basically the same deck what creature with power for or creator yeah that's that's not happening there um Yeah. 
Damn. Playing piggy bank and passing. Love to draw a card with you, my friend. Thank you. Oh, all I wanted was a mana. That's it. That's all we wanted was a mana. I don't think that was right, but no, they're not wondering how they're losing. They, I got to go first. They're, they're wondering why I'm able to keep up so much. No, not my playmate. Yeah, you should attack with that 1-1 one, one Glimmer. There you go. I'm not blocking. Give me a land. Give me a land. There we go. Say goodbye to your balloons. Four, five, six, seven. We got a discard, huh? Oh, seven. We're good. Do I want that mana for something next turn? No, I want a monkey this turn. Yeah, this game is ours. Living phone, whatever. Feeds, also don't really care. Um, what do we do here? Here I think it's cheerleader and orphans. And honestly, no attacks. Just clown. All right, that's fine. We're gonna phone. Uh huh. A four-two menace. Nano box. I've gained enough life. Um. Let's see. Let's. Drop another mountain, I guess. I really care about the cheerleader that much. I don't think I do at this point. Oh no! 
damn it. Well, I do now. Get your cheerleader back. done that to the orphans of wheat myself but you know oh we jesus my guy Sucks just a little bit. needed to do a stop only activate as a sorcery I see I see
think we missed like one or two turns. Just too many without. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that was bad. I did a bad. Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. That was nuts. That was nuts. Just draw the doll, balloon it, and swing with FOMO to win? Holy crap. Like, everything had to come together that turn. That was nuts. Holy shit. Um, that's fine. Do we want to trade cheerleaders? Yeah, I'll trade cheerleaders. That's fine. And then we gotta go mass most valuable slayer, and I have a five to first strike haste has to be blocked. This thing into this guy is stupid. Good for you. go oh no you stunned me if it wasn't a land it deals damage well it's gonna be a land so suck it Oh, land permanent. Okay, this guy. We'll grab that thing. We'll swing for four lifelink. Opponent's gonna cry about it. I still have two pieces of removal. I can only cast one because I have one white. Oh, perfect. Goodbye. I'm going to copy this guy. I'm gonna just target here and here. I 
another target creature I control. Final boss. Oh, final boss. Man, first trophy might just be Boros Aggro, huh? I did get lucky. I got, I think, three of the P like key piece cards in the Boros deck. That doll and the balloon guy are just insanely good. Everybody's trying to experiment and do all kinds of different things and figure out what's good and We happen to put together a good aggro deck and if you can't slow me down, I'm just gonna stomp you This curve is insane Haven't you wanted a monkey? Boom <laughs> Let's not stop monkeying around now. Um, we can... What, piggy bank? Swing? Let's go, buddy. You and me. We're both Boros Aggro. If I draw a land, you're gonna be so pissed. Uh, it's not a land, but it's just as good. more damage this turn, no big deal. And then I've still got removal and a pump. And if I draw a land, it's game. Perfect. Final boss taken care of. And we have trophied. Day one. It only took me three drafts. One was average, one was completely just 0 3 pooped on, and then we uh, aggroed to victory there. That is nine damage, my guy. Boom. What was that, turn five? Dang. Feels good winning some of that gems back after just going zero and three. But yeah, that's it. The deck right here was a dream. This curve was low. But like Norn was super good. <laughs> the doll was just a powerhouse. This guy was kind of fun, though he's creepy to look at. FOMO was pretty good, too. I liked FOMO. That was a decent combination. But yeah, we did it. That was just seven wins. One loss. What a run. <laughs>
We lost the first one and said no more. <laughs> Puts us up to 24 packs today. That's that's sick. Oh, Theater of Horrors, Dollhouse of Horrors. Nothing I want. Well, it says we still need one more daily win, one more weekly win. So I feel like we should do one more thing. Do we want to save midweek magic for tomorrow like we have been doing midweek magic on Wednesdays? I think I should. I think I should save it. Yeah, we're, we're going to do one more draft. The set's fun. I think one more draft and then we're out. That, that, that'll be enough today. A sealed event and four drafts. Like uh, Of those 24, though, six of them came from uh, pre-release code, and three of them just came from signing in to Duskmorn today. So I've really only earned, like, what is that, 13, something like that? But still, 13 packs today is pretty good. When it enters, it deals three damage up to one target creature. Whenever one or more creatures dies, put a rev counter on chainsaw. Equip creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of rev counters on chainsaw. So it is removal that sits around as an equipment and grows bigger every time something dies. I love it. We're going to pick it. That's amazing. Glassworks is also a really good pickup here. Growing Dread is decent pickup. I feel like this thing should be good, but I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. Oh, starting off again in, in a good red card. I don't mind if uh, we get Boros Aggro back to back. Like, I'll play it. Whenever one or more creatures die. It doesn't even say creatures my opponents control. Like, my creatures count. Whenever you attack, put a 1-1 counter on attacking creature. <laughs> okay. There's Norn. You get to do delirium things and gruel. Honestly, I'm really liking that white room over there. That seems pretty good. Put a counter on an attacking creature. We could still be Boros Beats, but we won't be the small aggro boys. We'll be a little higher up. <laughs> Exile's all but the bottom six. Draw an extra card. This thing is... I don't know how I feel about this thing just yet. Yeah, they're sheltered by ghosts. We saw how well that played the first time. We'll start cutting off the, the red-white. Yeah, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you your second main phase if he's tapped as well. One card from a graveyard. As long as there are three or more cards, he gets plus three, plus three, and has hex proof. A five four hex proof is pretty good if you can build to it. I kind of liked the doll though. I'm going to take the doll. <laughs> Followed up by the cheerleader. Save the cheerleader, save the world, right? It's such a heavy build around, just making sure that it's power two or less creatures. The hospital room might... Uh, 
make it to where we don't really get these like these two don't play well together you know fear of exposure fear of surveillance uh the hand of feeds though That thing was insane when my opponent was playing it. Vigilant Surveil, the hand that feeds. I don't want to pick up the red. Hey, I'm not biased or nothing. I just, I pick good cards when I see them, you know? <laughs> no, bring back my chainsaw. Each player draws two as long as four more tarts in your graveyard. Minus the number of those cards. No, that is awful for limited just awful man i feel like i'm supposed to take the terramorphic there I definitely take this thing for sure holy line you may pay wooberg rather than the mana cost for spells <laughs> fun too bad it's not good for what I'm doing surveillance is though surveillance is great I don't know that the doomsday demon is even a heavy build around just the fact that it makes it to where both players only have six cards left and you draw twice a turn like it's not in your favor you don't get to keep him very long like it very much becomes do or die for you and your opponent like i don't i don't like it I want to like it because it's six black pips and it's a demon and it has just an insane ability. Like, the only way I see it being good is if you can do that and immediately mill the last six cards of your opponent's deck. Oh, let's take a one drop. <laughs> <laughs> a 1-1 one, one that becomes a 4-4 four, four black demon we can attack with this and make the doll indestructible Prize that fits. Did that thing just growl at me. Attacks or enters. I mean, I kind of have to take this, right? Like, that's insane. <laughs> that is insane. And it gives me a bunch of 2 1 flyers for my doll. Um, hope, like, Percussionist comes back. I don't know. I don't know, man. There's so much going on. Oh, Ghost Vacuum! Exile a card from a graveyard, and then Ghost Vacuum becomes a 1 1 spirit with. Or you get a 1 1 spirit for each card exiled. This thing seems really good, too. Two 
2 2 menace. When another creature you control with power two or less energy, you may discard a card. If you do draw a card, only do it once a turn. Man, like that is great for my deck. This makes a bunch of 1 1s, though. Let's hope the rare wheels. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But I gotta take the 2 2 menace. There's, there's no way. Have the prize? No, we don't need the mana. The teddy bear. I to, honestly, my opponent playing the teddy bear was what made us win. We want the combat trick. That's what we want. Oh, the razor can is mine. Thank you. Holy crap! First strike on my turn, and whenever you draw, you lose a life. Yes. Yeah, this white card is absurd. Um, do we want the glassworks or do I want the piggy bank? This room seems better than this room for my deck at this point. I think I want the glassworks. Yeah, this card's so good. Um, I mean, we want the cheerleader, right? Yeah, save the cheerleader, save the world. Put a 1-1 one, one counter. The only thing that's saving this is it gets to pull something back, a cheerleader. Oh, do we want a monkey? I think I want a monkey. <laughs> we need some one drops. Monkey is good. I can't believe somebody's not playing this. This is so good too. White, black, eerie seems like it's a very fun deck. Um, turn inside out or surveil? Let's keep it low. We'll turn inside out. Uh, monkey. Although this razor can collar four four haste make one ones. No, it's too much. Too much. I don't like any of these. just like how he is made of support beams for the house like <laughs> the teddy bear is honestly better for my deck I don't want any of it Ooh, inside out actually I lied I want that no we want friendly ghost Oh, cheerleader or violent urge. That's tough. I think I take the body here. Yeah, the jump scare. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to another target. If a player is dealt damage this way, they can't gain life for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Oh, Kaito. He was so good. 
I'm nowhere near building that though. It's it's definitely this three three haste or the dragon's fire, and I'm gonna take the mythic like like I'm supposed to, right? Just take the mythic three three haste. Whenever it enters or attacks, create a tapped colorless land aimed everywhere. That's every basic land type. Um, and two living phones. And creature you control or rescues another turn is hex proof. It's one plus one. Yeah, we probably want the combat trick. That mythic's cool too, though. Not quite splashable for what I'm doing, but it is mana fixing. Uh, excuse me? How, how did you get back up in there? Is that a visual glitch or is that supposed to be like that? <laughs> if you cast it from your hands, this thing with Norn would be silly. You attack in and flicker it and cast it from exile as a 4-3 double strike. Uh, yeah, we're picking up the the Morn guy. Uh, he has all activated abilities. I don't really have activated abilities, do I? He's got. He can do possessed goat. Pending's not good. Delirium. Everything else is a triggered ability. Damn. Norn though. Norn for the deck. I only really want one. But I got one. This one? The 6-6 six, six that makes 2-1 flying tokens? It doesn't seem that busted. No, it's pretty busted. We'll, we'll get it down and people will quit. I have it plus four until in turn sacrifice it. I think I just want the one one. Although these two seem pretty good for the deck. One drop removal. Uh, no, we want one slayer, don't we? Yeah, that first strike on things is is amazing. Another violent urge, like <laughs> just a midnight mayhem there towards the end because we can make two two twos for four. No, I like the gremlins better. You're not getting played. You might get played. Destroy a creature. No, we'll turn inside out. We're doing mono red slash white this time. And keep it low. Like, that's gone. That's gone. You're the most expensive thing at four. Teddy bear's gone. I think we play the healer. Oh, you're not getting played. I got 32 playable cards. Like, this is... Excuse me? Put 
Let's go. Shard mages, rescue. Monkeys, Norns, turns inside out, violent urges. Like, I'm just going to start cutting up here at the top, I feel like. It just. Well, here and here. Gremlins might not even make it. Like. Grab the prize we don't need. So many cheerleaders, 17 creatures. A lot of turn inside outs. First strike, if I have delirium, it gains double strike. I don't think we need the hex proof, we won't want the jump scare. So this is removal and life gain, that's too good to give up. Chainsaw is removal. Card filter, card filter, wind condition. These guys, I just, I can't imagine cutting them. Now, what do I cut here? I get attacking creatures, so this works on everything. Do I really need the 3 3 haste? I guess I don't, do I? Stopping my opponent from gaining life might matter. We might just cut one urge, one turn inside out because we have so many of them. And run it looking like this. It's one, two, oh, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a 16 red. Yeah, let's run it back. We're not quite the same Boros Aggro deck we were last time, but we have more of a mid-game, I guess, this time around. I mean, we can keep, we can play the whole hand. What a good one drop draw. Um, I think I play the cheerleader. I want to get that going. Go ahead and kill her if you feel like you have to. Get through my word, but I'm not too worried about that. That's why 
fine. I did not play a whole lot of black today. <laughs> Thinking about it, like seeing some of these black cards, I'm like, yeah, these look fun. Why didn't I pull any? Ah! Why is it only the two lands that it wants to give me? Uh, that doesn't help. Probably gonna get rid of this. Come on, get rid of that overlord. No, the one thing I didn't you oh you bastard. Well, that's that's game. Well, that is game. That's, that's hard to come back from. Six, five, they've got the thing. We don't have the juice. All right, you win. You win. That's, that's our one loss. Now we're going to go seven straight wins again. <laughs> the poor power of Boros Agro. We can do it.
Come on, spicy boy. Let's see where this takes us. Cheerleader. Come on, mana. Yes. <laughs> Keep the aggro going. Yeah, Fildegriff has been an avatar for a while. And a booby trap, huh? Three damage to target creature. I got a feeling I know what you're going to target. Zest goat. I give up the goat? Why would you do that? I wanted the goat, you stupid game. I was gonna discard the monkey and draw a card. Thanks, Auto Tapper, for once again making the absolute worst play. Oh, there's a lot of eyes to click. Good game. Good game, opponent. We are not discarding a card. We're stealing your spider and winning the game. And now you die. Actually, he was going to kill you on your draw step, but thanks for looking at that. Yeah, auto tapper, man.
I mean, I'm glad it didn't change the game too much, but it would have been way better to discard or like play the goat, discard the monkey, and draw the card. Yeah. No looking back on this. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, kill it while you can, I guess. No, my cheerleader. Oh, well, this Jun deck might chew through me. We will see. Um, never mind. Never mind. Murder. That's not good. I think I won't impulse draw a card for a 1-1? One, one? You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! God damn it! Oh, I was one short of casting it anyway? No, I had enough. Four, five, yeah, I should have just cast it. That was stupid. That was stupid.
The old I also got two overlords. Yeah, I needed to not uh, miscast mine though. I'm so used to their abilities like that being on the left and not the right. Yeah. Rough. Percussionist. Uh, let's just do that. No attacks. I don't want to impulse. I like that they put googly eyes on all the spiders. much rather have manifested that all right well i'm glad that we're just gonna lose three straight games with this deck that was straight friggin fire that is so messed up I don't understand. Oh. Well, why didn't you blow that one up? Lincoln Ward, destroy target enchantments.
rough. Yeah, man. Go do your interview. Good luck. That's fine, it removed it. Sure. Yeah, the Doomsday Demon. I don't know how I feel about him. Give me that. Alright, well, let's see if we can turn this around and just win. How much removal did you get? <laughs> removal, 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 like removal, like come on. I wish I had any of that. the guy we gotta say his name didn't we'll have hex proof oh this this says uh hex proof doesn't matter creatures your opponents control can be the target of spells or abilities as though they didn't have hex proof ward abilities of those creatures don't trigger well that's not good Costs so much to flip face up. I mean, that's kind of there. never wanted to draw two lands in a row so bad in my life.
Come on, one more land. It's the friggin' overlord. There's the, there's, there's the big white boy there. No! We were one away! Sometimes I hate this game. That's awful. So, oh, there it is. Now there's zero three. We went uh, three and three. Oh, I guess we went one and three on this one. It was three and three, zero three, trophy and one. And then this. This, this was horrible. That is not what that deck deserved. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered. I had like the 8-8 eight, eight or a 6-6 six, six, and he had a 9-9, nine, nine, so he still would have killed it, but still. Wild card, the red overlord. I really like the came back wrong card. Interesting. It definitely has that uh, Monsters Inc. feel to it, huh? Hey, Balloon Man. Good luck in the interview, man. As long as there are four or more card types in your graveyard, insects and spiders you control have one plus one and death touch. Huh. All right, well. We did all the daily stuff. I feel like that is enough. We'll wait for that to restart and we'll do uh, midweek magic tomorrow. Probably continue to do a couple more drafts. See what uh, people decide after the day one of the meta is the best thing to be going for and see if we can counter that. All right, well, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys making clips. We will catch you tomorrow.